hi, what is the value of a? Given that you have 2 to the power of a times 2 to the power of a times 2 to the power of a equals 20. Then let's have it to the solution. So from here, when we have a to the power of m times a to the power of m times a to the power of m, this equals as a to the power of m in parentheses to the power of 1, 2, 3. So we cannot have this as 2 to the power of a in parentheses to the power of 3 equals 20. Then from here, when we have a to the power of m to the power of m parentheses to the power of n equals a to the power of m times n. So from here we have this to be 2 to the power of 3a equals 20. Then let us introduce log to both sides of this expression in order to have 3a in base. So we have log 2 to the power of 3a equals log 20. So from here, when we have log p to the power of m, we have this to be power. So we can have it in base as m times log p. So therefore, we are going to have this as 3a times log 2 equals log 20. Then likewise, when we have the 3a times log 2, let's divide through by the coefficient of 3a, which is log 2. So from here, this guy, we cancel out this guy. So we have 3a left equals log 20 over log 2. So from here, we can have 20 as the product of 2 times 10. So we have this guy here to be 3a equals log. Instead of having this 20, we are going to have it as 2 times 10. Then over log 2. So when we have log parentheses a times b, close the parentheses equals as log a plus log b. So from this guy here, what we have is log parentheses 2 times 10. This will be equals log 2 plus log 10. So from here we have this to be 3a equals log 2 plus log 10 over log 2. Then when we have a parameter p plus n over n such that p, m, n, they are all member of positive integer. So we can have this as p over n plus m over n. So we cannot have this guy here as 3a equals log 2 over log 2 plus log 10 over log 2. Then this will be 3a log 2 divided by log 2 will be 1 plus log 10 over log 2. So we can also have 10 as 2 times 5. So this will be 3a plus 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 2. So we have 3a 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 2.
So we have 3a, 1 plus log 2 over log 2 plus log 5 over log 2. So we have 3a, 1 plus this, divided by this will also be 1 plus log 5 over log 2. And this will be 1 plus 1 here will be 2 plus log 5 over log 2. Then when we have log A over log B, this always equals as log A in base B. So therefore we can have this solution as we can I have this solution as We have three A two plus log five in base two. Then defined by three. This we cancel out this. We have A to be two plus log five in base two over three. So this is the final answer for the value of A. So to check in the above, you can have it as we have 2A, 2 to the power of A times 2 to the power of A times 2 to the power of A. We say equals 20. Then we simplify this further. We have it as 2 to the power of 3A equals 20 from the simplification. So when we substitute this, we are going to have 2 to the power of 3, open parenthesis 2, plus log 5 in base 2 over 3. Then the question now is, is it going to give us 20? So from here, this 3 here, we construct this 3. Then we are going to have 2 to the power of 2 plus log 5 in base 2, then it's going to give us 20. Now mind you, when you have a to the power of m plus n from the law of exponents, a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So therefore from here, we can have this as 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of log 5 in base 2, then it's going to give us 20. 2 to the power of 2 give us 4 times 2 to the power of log 5 in base 2, then it's going to give us 20. Now mind you, anytime when you have a to the power of log b in base a, the output will always be b. So for this base and this base are the same thing, so the output of this will be b. And coming to this place, we have this base equal to this base. The output will now be 5. So we have 4 times 5. This will give us 20. So 4 times 5 from here, 20 equals 20. So the left hand side equals to the right hand side. This implies 2 plus log 5 in base 2 over 3 is correct.